What's going on, family? It's the Lucky Libra in the building. All right. Thank you for tuning in to another episode yet once again. As you can see by the title, we are picking up the signs through the houses series. We're wrapping up the ninth house, signs through the ninth house series with Pisces, my beloved Pisces in the ninth house. Shout out to all the Cancer Risings in the building. All right. Love me a nice, love me a Cancer Rising. All right. Love me a nice Cancer placement. All right, coming from a Capricorn moon rising native. All right, shout out to my sister moon sign. All right, you may be a Gemini rising. You may be a Leo rising with this placement. But if you have Pisces in the ninth house or you're studying somebody with Pisces in the ninth house, this is the video for you. All right, so I'm happy you're here. All right, I appreciate all the likes, shares, and please subscribe so we can continue to build the community up. Tap into my Patreon if you like to dive deeper. Tap into my website if you like to connect with the Lucky Libra. Let's get right into it, okay? Pisces in a blood clot ninth house, all right? Now, look, when we look at, once again, when we look at the houses, all right, got to say before every video, when we look at the houses, the houses represent areas of life, all right? The sign in the house represents the frequency, vibration, the energy, the influence that you deal with, that you experience that you're exposed to when you're active in this area of life, all right? Now, when we look at Pisces in the ninth house, first of all, the ruler, all right? The ruler here is Jupiter. The ruler here is Jupiter. So you need to know where Jupiter is at because that's going to be the area that you will be learning a lot, experiencing a lot, attracting mentors, coaches, and teachers here, and you will ultimately, eventually become an example of knowledge and wisdom of that area, all right? You have to understand you are becoming a teacher in the house that you have your ninth house ruler in. You should be able to school me on some things where that ninth house ruler is at, uh, Cancer Horizons, where that Jupiter is at, okay? Now, it's very significant that Jupiter rules this house because this is Jupiter's house. So even though it's Pisces here, which is actually a square sign because Pisces is home in the 12th house. So the 12th house squares the ninth house. It's still a Jupiterian influence that's being brought here. So that's very significant. OK, and, uh, you know, offer it, offer it. this, this, these people can be. These people are naturally intrigued by spirituality. These are superb students. This is why they can turn into superb teachers. All right. The better of a student you are, the more potential you have to reach when it comes to your own teaching abilities. All right. And Pisces in the ninth house is a sponge for knowledge, a sponge for new experiences, a sponge for all type of educational and spiritual pursuits here. So these are some true mystics. These are some true spiritualists here. To be honest with you, these people, they're pretty psychic here, all right? Pisces and Ninth House can bring a lot of psychic abilities here. Uh, we can also tie that to cancer, the cancer, rise, cancer Rising placement as well. But we know when we talk about the Rising placement, a lot of the attributes that we tie to the Rising is due to the other placements in other houses. So Pisces in the Ninth House is definitely one of the biggest influences for a Cancer Rising, why they are very... Uh, why they manifest these psychic attributes in this lifetime. They can experience a lot, of, uh, a lot of supernatural things that is hard to explain to others, okay? I had uh, my, my brother that transitioned, all right? I had a brother that transitioned. He was a Cancer rising, right? And he was a Pisces sun on top of that. And uh, he had some supernatural spiritual experiences in the life that he really only ex expressed to me. Don't nobody really know about it. And he don't even know how to explain it. All right. Of a number of them. So if you're a cancer rising, I already know you done, you done, uh, you got probably got stories. You probably got stories. One day, boy, I was meditating and then this happened and then something moved in my kitchen. And, and then one day, or I was astral projecting and I woke up and seen this or like, yeah, all of that supernatural shit, Pisces in ninth house, they, they all up in the mix with these things. Now, speaking of the ninth house being, you know, uh, I don't even think I broke down what the ninth house is, but the ninth house represents, you know, this is a spiritually inclined house, represents our educational uh, pursuits, our spiritual pursuits, how we develop our belief system in this lifetime. It, it shows us a lot of what we're going to experience while we're in 
the school educational uh, educational environment is going to show us our natural pursuits and things that we naturally want to learn and naturally going to experience here. Once again, check that ruler, check where Jupiter is at. But with that being said, when it comes into school, there is common that they could be a little isolated in school. It's common they could be a little isolated here. Cancer already, cancer risings already have a bit of an introverted nature, very tight personal circle. So you don't just get into a cancer rising's personal life. Just you just don't ease up in there. No, they're gonna put you through all different type of they're gonna read have to read your energy and get comfortable around you and all of that. So for if you have a cancer sun, moon, or rising best friend, close friend, close colleague, this, that, and the third, they met they they fucks with you heavy. They vibe with you heavy. So with that being said, uh when it comes into the educational space, the education the school environment. You know, they can have an isolated type energy. And especially because, like I said, because Pisces attract so much crazy spiritual miscellaneous shit, supernatural shit in this house that could add on to them not being that relatable in, in school or being around other uh their colleagues like that. Because they already may be processing, reflecting, reminiscing on all these experiences, what these things mean to the so much to the point that being able to relate on a mundane level is kind of hard. They kind of disconnected a little bit here. Now they empathic as hell. <laughs> Can cancer rising Pisces in ninth house. They empathic as hell. So that's another reason why they might be a bit isolated because they pick up too many energies, you know, more than they want a lot of the time. Uh so being able to connect and relate with others, their peers at times, there may be a disconnect. There may be a disconnect, cancer rising. This is this is this placement has a lot to do with it. On top of that, goddamn Capricorn in your seventh house, you having a detached nature with relationships your social life having earth in the air houses so a lot of the time you know you have a very we can use the word transactional but you have a real uh realistic sturdy serious approach towards how you deal with your relationships okay but uh they can have a real daydreamy nature through school because the ninth house is going to be pushing them to observe things on a spiritual level, on a philosophical level. So things dealing with religion, uh, you know, spirituality, you know, different belief systems, different cultures, different traditions in the world. These are things that they may be very uh, intrigued about. But when it comes into like technical things in school, like they can make a great student. Don't get it twisted. Cancer, cancer, Pisces placements, these are two of the most smartest signs in the Zodiac because they both have Jupiter influences. Jupiter represents your knowledge and wisdom. So the Cancer Rising is smart as hell, and these people can excel in school. So it's not so much saying that they can't deal with other subjects in school, literacy, math, science, and whatnot, but because they get that strong influence and they attract so much things that push them to pay attention to spirituality, to expanded forms of philosophy, this is what starts to detract them from looking at the regular curriculum in school, and they may start to, you know, pay attention to a lot of these things. If you know a cancer rising, if you if, if you know a cancer rising or you are a cancer rising and you know that you could have excelled in school, but you didn't, but you didn't excel, you kind of got by, and then people look at you like you're so smart. Why are you not getting straight A's this and the third? That, this is probably why. This is probably why. Because you was you was intrigued by other spiritual things. You was you 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 kind of started looking at what you was being taught in school. Like this is some mundane shit. This 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 ain't really expanding nothing. All right. So you know it, it get deep with Pisces in this ninth house. Remember heavy Jupiter energy. So you bring in a Jupiter sign Pisces to a Jupiter house. All that stimulation of Jupiter energy creates. You know what can create, in a way, instability because it'll attract so many different adventures and opportunities to explore and do and experience different things to the point you could get a little detached from reality here. You know, or not so much react. Well, yeah, reality because your responsibilities, priorities, especially within uh, dealing with school and whatnot, you may start to subconsciously side some of these things. All right, but um, great teachers effective teachers you know gurus spiritualists astrologers cancer risings cancer risings be all up in the spiritual community all right um 
you know, like I said, strong psychic abilities here, but the thing is, they make a great student because you got the ninth house, which is a firehouse, and firehouses deal with expression. So when you put Pisces, whatever energies in the, whatever energies you have in the ninth house, these are things you're inclined to express from a wisdom perspective. So when you got Pisces here, uh, when you got Pisces here, and you got you, you're a Cancer rising. Once again, you may have this introverted nature. So a lot of these people, they're gonna be once again, they're going to be sponges when it comes into gaining knowledge and wisdom, especially if it's dealing with anything with spirituality, learning about how to enhance their creative attributes in life. These are things that they're also intrigued about, right? So if they're a pianist, they're going to seek out teachers, mentors, or if not, attract them to teach them how to excel playing the piano. So, you know, Pisces also has a huge creative inclination besides the spiritual inclination. But I say that all, I say all that to say, you know, they, even though they make great students, they may have to learn how to get over this hump when it comes into, you know, actually pushing it out now, actually expressing these things. So this is why they make such a great teacher, such a great spiritualist, a guru, because, you know, once they get past that hump where they're comfortable expressing the knowledge and wisdom that they have, their personal experiences, like I said, they can kind of feel a little isolated at times because it may be hard to even express some of the things that they're uh, that they're learning about or some of the things that they personally experience on their life in a spiritual level. It may be hard for them to understand what the hell that experience meant. So once they come to grip with these things and they find an understanding with these things, this is what creates more of a comfort zone for them to express these things. And once they get to that point, Oh yeah, hell of a teacher. The potential for them to they they get they gain a lot of fulfillment being able to teach others and enlighten others here. Pisces in the ninth house. They gain so much fulfillment from that. All right. Now another thing is uh this is mutable water, mutable signs, adaptable, flexible, changeable, relatable. So when you put Pisces in the ninth house, you know, ninth house is dealing with other cultures, traditions, foreign, foreign culture, you know, uh, long distance experience and travels. These people can be very adaptable towards the other beliefs of others, very adaptable towards the other traditions and cultures of others. So that is a great thing, right? Because it's just helping you to, it's just creating more potential for you to learn more from what's going on in other, in other perspectives of life. However, they can be a bit, Pisces in the ninth house can be a bit easily persuaded here. So because they're so intrigued by learning about anything with spirituality, they may, in their younger stages of life, they may have to learn how to develop this filter as they mature to understand they can't just take everybody's uh, teachings as law. They can't take everybody, they, they, you know, sometimes you got to do take some people's knowledge and wisdom with a grain of salt. So they could have, a billion different teachers and mentors and you know spirit spiritual teachers that they gain guidance from whether it's in person whether it's in real life whether it's through you know this this age of aquarius and through social media and whatnot um or whether they actually attract these individuals in their lives you know um but you know as they mature they they, they start to understand that <laughs> especially when they get into like saturn return time start to understand like okay i can't just i can't just uh i love spirituality i love people who are able to dissect things on a philosophical level but i still have to allow myself to develop my own belief systems and not kind of attach myself to the belief systems of other of others so you can get you can you can pick up on a real excited energy when these people gain new knowledge or wisdom in some type of shape or form all right so it's just key that you guys develop that filter here, right? You naturally love to learn, but being able to once again take turns with a grain of salt, like okay, they said this and a third. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a correl I'm gonna connect that to my life experiences and see how that play out instead of just hearing something that sounds so empowering from a spiritual perspective and just saying that's what it is. That person said it is, is this, this, that, and a third. So that's what it is, and now you neglect your ability to develop your own beliefs about something. All right, so that's very important there. Uh, these people can surrender to life and spirituality. And they learn that here. They, they, they learn that here. Pisces, is, Pisces deals with connecting to the collective conscious. So, you know, 
they're very open towards understanding other people's subconscious, other people's beliefs here. This may be something that they're intrigued about studying certain things that they might uh they might be intrigued about learning within school, things dealing with psychology, things dealing with psychology revolving around the subconscious. All right. At some point in their life, especially the, the ones that's into spirituality, and whatnot, they get real intrigued about understanding healing on all levels. They can have strong healing properties themselves. These are cancer risings we're talking about. If any sign we're talking about got strong, if any constellation we're talking about has strong healing properties, we're, uh, cancer got to get thrown in there. That, that's the sign that ruled the heart chakra. That sign ruled by the moon. How is that sign not going to deal with healing? But Pisces brings the understanding of not just your subconscious, the subconscious of others, because it's mutable is out the twelfth house, right? Once again, it deals with connecting to the collective consciousness. So. At some point in their life, they may get intrigued dealing with healing, utilizing their psychic abilities in some type of shape or form, utilizing their, uh, you know, they could thrive in anything dealing with, you know, counseling energies, you know, psychiatrists, therapists, counselors of all sorts here all day, every day. And, you know, cancer rising going to make somebody open up. You get you a cancer rising uh, 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 therapist or some shit. You go into therapy thinking that nobody can make you open up. After the first session, you bawling, crying. You're like, damn, I never felt this comfortable to express this and the third to somebody. Yep, cancer rising. Pisces in the ninth house. You better act like you know. <laughs> you better act like you know. All right. But yes, a lot of crazy, uh, a lot of crazy experiences within school too. Pisces also has a sense of uh, has the influence of intimacy dealing with it. So. These people can go through all different types of situations, uh, dealing with intimacy, connecting with others on an intimate level through through the uh, school environment. When they get into college or whatnot, you have to be careful not uh, falling victim to peer pressure and doing things that other people are doing around you because there's going to be a lot of things that seem uh, like a thrill. Once again, Jupiter sign in a Jupiter house. is You always manifest in people, places, or things situations in your life that are bringing new experiences and new opportunities to experience new things so that doesn't mean that doesn't mean all of these things are positive things all right and you have to be able to build that relationship with your intuition with your intuition cancer rising all right very important to understand wish i had some water next to me i got i feel like i'm about to get some hiccups all right, but um, huge crave to explore. So not only are they attracting these situations to explore different things, they already have a natural inclination to want to explore and experience a bunch of things. So be careful, Cancer Rising, not getting a little too reckless with Pisces in the ninth house. With this alignment, you will, uh, n nine out of ten times, opportunities to travel and all that will open up early. If not, something that you're experiencing in adolescent stages whether you're traveling because of family you travel because of an ex extracurricular activity you you play sports or something you're part you you deal with some form of competition and it's and you did it on a national level so you start to travel a lot before you even turned 18. these people can experience uh, that jupiter energy gonna open that up here uh easily all right um that goes for anybody that has strong jupiter influences with the ninth house so if you have pisces cancer sagittarius or jupiter itself in the ninth house you most likely uh manifested situations where you were able to travel explore like i said whether it was, whether it was comp sports it was because of family it was because the uh extracurricular activity you studied abroad boarding school you're gonna get to know other cultures and other traditions in some type of shape or form and usually it can come from you know the school environment you know relationships you may develop here all right now these people back to like what i was saying uh you know they may have to learn how to come out their shell their shell to own the stage and express their knowledge and wisdom but this is an indication of them having a sacred relationship with their education and their spiritual beliefs all right like I said, these may not be things that's easy for them to express or communicate and relate to others. So you can, you can, this is part of their isolated nature. But at the same time, um, 
it's also because you know it's water water is going to build a connection somewhere and when you got pisces in the ninth house they build, they build a pretty sacred connection with how they deal with spirituality so that can also add a sense of vulnerability with them being outward about it and expressive about it all right but yeah man these people bring a lot of fulfillment in their life being able to enlighten others teach others uh these people will have to learn how to remain open because naturally they are open into learning certain things and not get attached so you is like those are the two spectrums here you're either real open to knowledge and wisdom but from time to time when something comes off real empowering real intriguing with sort of spirituality or something correlated to your belief system or towards how you're developing your belief system it's easy for you to get attached to that philosophy knowledge and wisdom and that's something you got to be be wary of something you got to be careful of doing here with pisces in this ninth house all right but for the most part y'all some of y'all is the most psychic mother effers in in the nation all right reading palms reading natal charts tarot cards <laughs> Even if they're not into spirituality and they're dealing with some form of counseling or whatnot, right? They're working with others, dealing, helping others with the subconscious. They're going to say a lot of philosophical, spiritual shit within that shit. Because that's just how they're going to perceive things when it comes into, you know, how they look at uh, the subconscious and spiritual development in some type of shape or form. All right? But shout out to my Cancer Rising. Shout out to my Pisceans in the ninth housers. All right? That's Pisces in the ninth house, y'all. We, wrapped, we just wrapped up the ninth house signs through the ninth house series. Next, we're picking it up with signs through the 10th house series, guys. All right, I appreciate the likes, shares, and all the people subscribing. Tap into my website if you like to connect with the Lucky Libra. Tap into my Patreon if you like to dive deeper. And until next time, family, peace.